I'm harvesting garlic scapes today, which are the edible seed pods from a garlic plant. And I'm harvesting them primarily because I just don't need my garlic plants to produce seed. In fact, I'll be harvesting the garlic bulbs in about a month in July. So I really want the plant's energy directed at completing and maturing the garlic bulbs. The garlic scapes are edible and delicious. They're a little bit closer to a chive. They're less pungent than the garlic clove. I'll hold back some of the garlic cloves to replant in the fall. So I really don't need any of the seeds that the plant is producing. You won't have any trouble identifying the garlic scape. The garlic scape will have a little bulb at the end, which will actually contain little cloves of garlic if it's allowed to mature. I'm going to be snipping it at the base of this stem. There we go. Now we have a beautiful garlic scape to enjoy in the kitchen while ensuring that the plant directs its energy down to the clove. A little different than the others. It's a different variety of garlic. And I'm also going to harvest these today. I'm making garlic scape pesto today with our harvest, which is quick, easy, delicious, and versatile. The pesto is thick enough that it can be used as a dip with fresh veggies or crackers. It makes a lovely spread as a savory layer in a sandwich. It's delicious as a sauce with pasta or a quinoa veggie bowl. And I even enjoy using it as a dressing. I'll thin it a little bit with olive oil and I will drizzle it on top of fresh greens or roasted vegetables. It is a delicious pesto that I promise will not linger in your mouth for too long as sometimes traditional pestos can. I'm using a blender today to make the pesto, but a food processor will work just as well. You may get a slightly smoother consistency with the blender, but truthfully, I made the decision based on cleanup. It is just quicker for me to use the blender. I anticipate to have about four cups of roughly chopped garlic scapes today, so I've based the recipe on that, but this is a very easy recipe recipe to modify based on what you have available in your garden or at the grocery store. The garlic scapes are ready to go in the blender and there's just a few ingredients to add. I have two cups of fresh basil, one cup of toasted pine nuts, four tablespoons of lemon juice, and one cup of olive oil. I'm going to put half of the olive oil to start. I'm not worried about the pesto emulsifying. Normally if I'm making a dressing, I'll just add the olive oil slowly from the top. Once everything's in the blender, simply turn it on. It really couldn't be easier. Let's try the pesto. This recipe can really be made under 10 minutes. Oh really nice. I taste the depth from the pine nuts, a little bit of the citrus, and the basil really adds a nice sweetness. I think it would benefit from a little bit of salt, so I'm going to put about half a teaspoon in. Give it one last blend, and then it's ready to go. I'm going to garnish our garlic scape pesto today on sourdough bread with some shaved Parmesan, lemon zest, cracked pepper, and a little, little bit of olive oil left in the measuring cup, so I'll just finish with that on top. The garlic scape pesto made for a very quick lunch today, fresh from the garden. If you try it, I hope you enjoy it.